<laughs> can you feel how much I want this car to be here in the French Riviera so I can take it on the road under the sun? Oh. to a new vlog, the Mustang vlog. Nicolas Gaillard is in the car with me. You, you know him already from uh, the last vlog with Mercedes. He's the one that knows every everything about FPV drones and crazy lenses as well. We're on the most Californian road we uh, found around the French Riviera, which is not too far away from Cannes, my hometown. But we're just gonna cruise around, film some nice stuff, and then later we'll stop and I'm gonna walk you through the whole car, what has been changed, what is like original uh, from the actual car, and uh, yeah, and everything, all the specs and everything. But the view is just unbelievable in this place. It's like every corner has an insane view. Okay, is it time to finally talk to you about the car? Yes, it is. Question is, where should I start? Where should I start? So as you can see, this is a 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback and the car just arrived a week ago. So I'm still not completely used to the fact that it's mine and I don't actually think it's gonna be the case one day. Just like mentally, I can't think that. I just think it's a rental car. So as I said in my previous vlog about it, I went through so many different ideas. I wanted to first get a coupe, Mustang Coupe, which looks completely different because the back is goes like almost straight down and then you have a big trunk. And then, I mean, this one was my absolute dream one, the 68 Fastback, full black. And getting one with such a good paint job was super rare. And I got really, really lucky when my friend SoCal Frenchies announced that they actually found one that was exactly the same spec. To tell you more about the car, I changed the tires. So there's a brand new set of tires with very 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 important i wanted the torque trust wheels in black so you could match the whole paint then on the outside i also asked to add oh, it's so shiny i also asked to add all the um the little lettering and everything about the car because everything was blacked out and there was none of those details anymore but i wanted to have it because it's it's part of the original look so a new set of wheel so then they added all the mustang letters so it's actually like it used to be back in the days Now let's talk about the engine. This car is the Type C, so it has a 289 cubical inches, which is 4.7 liters, I guess. Oh, wow. This, I need to get rid of this. I had the car for one week and yesterday I actually managed to wash it for the first time. Managed to install also the plates. But this, this needs to be removed. It's like when you get a new computer, iPhone or whatever and you have to remove the, the plastic. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to step on those with my shoes, but look, that's pretty clean. Oh, wow. 
now it's ready. Okay, let me show you the inside. <laughs> That's so cool. So I was very specific on the inside because when I bought it, uh, it had modern style, I guess, new Mustang seats with the headrest. And I just wanted the basic, basic, the one that they used to have back in the days. So the one with the normal buckle, seat belt, no headrest, and the one that you can also fold super easily so you can access the back. Those were the actual original ones, but they have been completely remade. So they actually, they look brand new. I mean, they smell brand new, so that's perfect. I think lots of people are wondering about the car. One thing for sure is that people really stop and ask questions about this car. Like we've been having probably, what, 20 to 30 different people already during the whole day stopping and checking out and asking if we could open the hood and everything. In terms of steering wheel, it also had a smaller shape one, so more like race style type of steering wheel, but this is not a race car, it's a cruise car. So uh, I wanted to get one of the smoothest one you can get which has this absolute insane uh, wood. There's no metal parts in between the wood. This is just pure wood and it's so smooth and, and comfy to drive. It also has power steering, which is unbelievable to like, you can literally drive it with just one finger. Also in terms of the cool features about the car, I have full AC and it's a modern one. So it works absolutely incredible. Like I've been mind blown about this one, even though I don't really need it now in December, but it's still really mind blowing. So the dashboard is like it's supposed to be back in 68, which is perfect. And then the battery, the oil pressure and the temperature has been added down here. So it's more precise than those. So this is really, really cool and reliable. So I love this. Uh, I also added a special retro sound radio system that looks retro, but let me show you. Oh, and here is the keys, by the way, which goes perfectly with my DB hook. So if I take the key and I just put on the ignition, instantly recognize that my phone is in the car and starts playing music. How good is this? And it sets the vibe, Mustang Sally. It sets the vibe directly. I wanted the car to be uh, automatic. I mean, back in the days in the US, they had automatic everywhere. So this is really reliable. It has been checked, it's working perfectly. And that's exactly what I need to just cruise around and not have to change gears all the time. I wanna be relaxed in good position and just yeah, drive and road trip with it. And in the back, we have two more seats. And the best part about this is if you take the backrest, fold it down, and then down again, you have this perfect bag space where you can actually lay down and uh, take a nap on. Uh, and I mean, how cool does it look? Wait. <sighs> how cool does that look? Like it's the perfect spot to shoot bags. Look at this. I mean, you can fit a crazy amount of bags in this bag. Also in the back, we have some modern speakers. The sound is insane, but they look a bit too modern. So I'll have to cover those so we don't really see them, uh, but I like them. <sighs> Question is, how many of you guys think I can actually sleep in the car? Let me know in the comment below if I should like stay in the car, do a challenge for like a week or something and just live in it. I mean, at least there is a perfect open roof and I can see the stars at night. And the trunk. So as you can see, pretty big space trunk with all my douche bags in it. Skateboard, ah, and also... <laughs> Thank you, Max. At least I got to travel with my car all the way from the US to France. And I'm, I'm actually sleeping every night in it. So which way was it? Okay. Mm
And yes, as you can see, Nico has, he has one of the sickest anamorphic setup with like, I don't even know how it works, like a lens on different, like when you saw the setup, but all the crazy anamorphic uh, flares, that's from his camera and his setup. And it is sunset, which means that's the end of the day. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this car and if I also should do a road trip around Europe, sleep in it for a week, whatever, come up with anything. I still need to find a name. I don't have a name for her. So I guess that's it for today. I wanted to say a really, really huge thanks to the Circle Frenchies who helped me find the car, checked everything for me and shipped it all the way from the US to France. Also the biggest thanks to Nico. Nico, merci. Yes. Thanks for all the shots and like hang out with me the whole day and do some fun stuff together. And also thanks to Vincent, a friend that came this morning to help us shoot from his car and get those uh, yeah action shots. So last walk around the car. And we still have a long ride to get back home. So we're gonna cruise back now. And there's gonna be another video soon about the car. Like the behind the scene when I got to pick it up the first day, drove it all the way back to my place and everything. So if you wanna watch this one, it's gonna be online on the channel for in a couple of days after this one, I guess. So we'll see. Don't forget to subscribe and you can like the video if you like it. And you can also just share it to your friends if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys. The location is so random and now we're gonna see if we can see the car for the very first time. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Oh, I think I just spotted it. Oh, it's done. <laughs> no way, no way. Shining under the French Riviera sun. <laughs>